Okay, today's lesson, um, we're actually going to break up Objective 161, and we're going to break it up into two parts. So this video is just on Objective 160A is what we're going to call it. And this objective is students will be able to divide a polynomial by a monomial. I'll give you a second to get that down. Okay, as you guys are writing these things, you should always be thinking about what all this means. So we obviously know what divide means. A polynomial is just something that it can be a monomial, it can be a binomial, trinomial, or anything that's more than three terms, right, which we just call a pon polynomial. And then a monomial is just, again, one term. We just went over that in the last lesson. Okay, uh, let's go on to the next slide. I want you guys to write down these three problems, simplify these three problems, um, and then we're going to go on to the next slide. So right now, hit pause, simplify these three problems. Okay, let's see if you got the same thing that I got. So when I simplify these, um, again, this is division. So I divide or I simplify or reduce the numbers. So 20 divided by 10 is 2. And then for the exponents, to simplify against division, so when I'm dividing, I subtract the exponents, so don't forget that hand one. So it would be 2 to the x, x to the uh, 4 minus 1. So my simplified answer here would be 2x to the third power. Okay. If you didn't get that, make sure you put a little mark through number 1. That way you know when you're studying to go back and really prioritize studying that one. All right, let's go on to the next one. 30 divided by 10, well, that's 3. And then x to the 3 minus x to the 1. So 3 minus 1 would be 3x squared. Okay, and then this last one, 2 divided by 10. Well, I don't want to write that as a decimal, so I need to reduce 2 over 10. So I can divide by 2, divide by 2. And if you didn't show this work, show it, because some of the bigger fractions where you can't do in your head... You need to know how to show your work, and you need to practice that. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So I have the fraction 1 fifth x. And then my x is I have to the second, or x to the second power minus x to the first. So my answer would be 1 fifth x to the first power. And you don't have to show that first power, but we will. Okay. Um, if you can do this right here, you're actually in, and this is totally review, you're actually in awesome shape for today's lesson. It's just going to look a little bit different. Okay, so let's go on and actually start today's problems. Okay, so let's do example one. And example one is this. Again, keep in mind that what we just did is all we're doing today. It's just going to look different than what we've ever done before. Okay, so example number one, the problem is... 20x to the fourth power plus 30x to the third power plus 2x squared. Hopefully you're already noticing something. Divided by 10x. I'm going to give you a second. If you don't notice something, look above to the work that we just did. And you will notice it's the exact same numbers. Okay, So here's all we're doing. We are dividing this entire polynomial. In this case, it's a trinomial because there are three terms. Divided by 10x. Okay, There's an easy, easy way of showing the work for this. So all we're going to do first is, and let's get these steps, let's do them over here. So first thing we're going to do is separate separate terms and hopefully you have a little bit more room in your notebook than I do separate terms okay second thing we're going to do is we're going to show division of each term okay show division of each term okay so let's separate our terms first to separate terms we know we draw the lines before the addition and subtraction signs. I'm still seeing some of you draw the lines after. They always go before. And in fact, we're going to extend those lines down a little bit more than we typically do. Okay. Now, step two is show division of each term. 
So each of these terms is being divided by the 10x. So we're going to divide by 10x, we're going to divide by 10x, and divide by 10x. Okay. And again, if you haven't noticed already, this is the exact same thing that we just did. We just, it, again, this problem looks a little bit different. So we've already actually done the work for this. So the um, 20 divided by 10 would be 2. And then the we had x to the 4th minus x to the... So we have x to the 3rd power. And then 30 divided by 10. So the other thing with this now is we, we really do have to pay attention to the signs. Now this is a plus and this is a positive. We're dividing by a positive, right? There's no sign, so it's positive. So we know it's going to be a positive number, so we can just write plus. And we already said that was 3x squared. And then a positive divided by a positive is a positive, so we have plus. And then we already said that this was 1 fifth. And then make sure you write that x off to the side. Okay. Now, one other quick thing. This right here this last term could actually, we that could show up differently on the ACT. So let's rewrite it another way that it, it, they could show the answer would be something like this. So plus, this x is actually on top, okay, because we could write it as x over, don't do this in your notes, I'm just showing you guys, we could write it as x over 1. So the 1 and the x are both on top. So you could see an answer that looks like this where it's x over 5. Okay? If you have a question about this, please make sure you put a question mark about this answer format, and we can talk more about this in class. But again, anytime you know an answer could look different or several different ways on a test from what we do it in class, we want to try to make sure that we understand it. That way it doesn't confuse us when we see it on the test. Okay? Let's do another example. Let's do example two. Okay. Example two is uh, 15 x to the third power minus 30 x squared plus 2 x minus 4 and all divided by 2 x squared. Okay. All right, we are going to follow the exact same steps. First step, and again, these steps just help us really organize our work, is we're going to separate the terms by drawing the bars before the addition and subtraction signs. I'm going to erase those. Those need, don't need to be quite so long. Okay, and then we're going to divide each of these terms. Every single term is getting divided by 2x squared. So divided by 2x squared. And show this work. It will help you avoid a lot of silly, silly mistakes. Okay. So when we do this, if I have 15 over 2, okay, that can't be reduced because 2 doesn't go into 15 evenly. So I'm going to keep my first answer as 15. I'm actually going to show that a little higher. 15 over 2. And then x to the, well, remember when we're dividing, and the reason why when we're dividing, we subtract the exponents. So we have 3 minus 2 is x to the first power. Okay, and if we keep going, we have negative 3 divided by 2, or negative 3 over 2. Okay, well, a negative divided by positive is a negative, so it's going to be minus. 3 over 2 cannot be reduced anymore, so I'm just going to keep that fraction 3 over 2. And then x squared minus x squared, 2 minus 2, would give me x to the 0 power. Okay, But what is anything raised to the 0 power? Again, it's really important that you guys continue to think back to these things. What is anything raised to the 0 power? And the answer is 1. So I could show 3 over 2 times 1, but do I need to show anything times 1? No, absolutely not. So the, this part is just 3 over 2. Okay, and then a positive 2 divided by positive 2 will get me a positive 1. So I can show plus 1. 
and then x to the first power minus x to the second power will give me x to the negative first power. Okay, for right now we'll just leave it there. And then negative 4 divided by negative 2, or I'm sorry, negative 4 divided by positive 2 will get me a negative, so I'm going to write minus 2. And then there are zero x's up here, right? There are zero x's in the denominator. So if you have x to the zero power minus two, you're going to end up with x to the x to the negative two power. Okay. Now, can we ever, ever, ever leave an answer that has negative exponents? And the answer you had better said is no. Okay, so we've got to simplify this. Okay, so it would be 15, 15 over 2x <coughs> minus 3 over 2 plus, well, this x to the negative power, right now it's in the numerator, so I need to move it to the denominator, so I'm just going to have that x to the first power, and now it's a positive first power because we moved it in the denominator. Well, I can just write a 1 up here, right? If there's nothing in the numerator, we know there's a 1, minus... Okay, this 2 right here is actually in the numerator because we could write it 2 over 1. So minus 2 over this x to the negative 2, okay, we need to move it to the denominator because it's negative. So we'd have x to the second power and it turns positive because we moved it. Okay, this right here would be your final answer. Okay, we cannot simplify anything more. Um, the one thing that we could do though, and let me erase this, because the one thing that we could do is we could rewrite it in descending order. Um, so that would be a possibility. For right now, though, let's just leave this as our answer, and we'll talk more about that descending order um, in class. Okay, for practice problems uh, for this objective, and again, part one or part A of 161, um, there's going to be another worksheet with the answers posted in the line. You need to uh, complete those problems before class, show all of your work, and if you get one wrong, mark it wrong. That way you know to go back and talk about that problem with a friend and really learn from your mistakes. Okay, So make sure you complete those worksheet problems before class.